Welcome to our online training. This training will cover what the Expert Advisor is, the dialog box menu, how to attach and detach an Expert Advisor to a chart, and the functions and purpose of the Expert Commentary window. Today's training is designed to instruct in some of the basics of Metastock and the Downloader program. We will provide some guidelines for using certain features within the software. However, nothing presented in this training is intended as or should be construed to be a recommendation to buy or sell any specific security. The information, software, and techniques presented today should only be used by investors who are aware of the risks inherent in trading. Equa shall have no liability for any investment decisions based on the use of their software, any trading strategies, or any information provided in connection with the company. At the conclusion of this training module, you should know what the Expert Advisor is, understand the Expert Commentary window, be able to attach and detach an Expert Advisor to a chart, and review the function and purpose of the Expert Advisor Commentary window. The Expert Advisor is a powerful tool that keeps you informed of the current technical state of a security within a chart. When attached to a chart, an Expert Advisor can inform you of various conditions using several different methods. Highlights, ribbons, symbols, alerts, and commentary. Most people use the Expert Advisors that are prepackaged with Metastock or purchased from Equus or a third party. The Expert Advisor Power Tool can hold up to a thousand Expert Advisors. Next, we will review the menu and features within the Expert Advisor. To open the Expert Advisor, select Tools, Expert Advisor, or click onto the icon of the man with the hat from the main toolbar. We will now review the various options in the Expert Advisor dialog box. New will display the Expert Editor dialog. To create a new Expert Advisor, Edit allows you to edit an existing Expert Advisor's formula or to change the highlights, symbols, or alerts. If the Expert is password protected, you will need to know the password in order to edit the formula. Copy makes a copy of the selected Expert Advisor. Delete deletes the selected Expert Advisor. Print prints all of the information included within the selected Expert Advisor. The Organizer button allows us to import and export Expert Advisors. And the Help button brings up the Help menu for the Expert Advisor. Attach allows us to attach the selected Expert Advisor to the active chart. If an Expert Advisor is already attached to your chart, you will have a Detach button. Detach allows us to detach the selected Expert Advisor from the active chart. The Attach button is disabled if no chart is open. The Commentary button allows the user to view the commentary corresponding with the selected Expert. The Commentary button is disabled if no chart is displayed. Now that we have covered the main options in the Expert Advisor dialog box, we will go over the options within the Expert Editor. To bring up the Expert Editor, highlight an Expert Advisor. For this example, we will use the Equus MACD. Now click onto the Edit button. This will bring up the Expert Editor for the Equus MACD Expert Advisor. The Name tab displays the name of the Expert Advisor. If creating a new Expert, this is where you define the name for the new Expert Advisor. The Notes section gives you more information about that Expert Advisor. The Trends tab is where the formula for either a bullish or bearish trend can be viewed or altered if creating a custom Expert Advisor. The results of the trend rules are displayed on the chart as a ribbon or in the expert corner. The ribbon button allows you to show the ribbon at the bottom of the chart, as well as the option to display vertical lines within the ribbon and having the ribbon display across all inner windows. 
You can also select the background colors and patterns to be used when that ribbon is being displayed on the chart. You can choose what labels to be displayed and whether they'll be text or symbols. The corner button lets you choose what symbols and colors will be shown in the expert corner. The defaults button will restore all settings for the expert corner back to the default. Commentaries tell you in written form the technical state of the security. Functions takes you to the paste formula window for easy access to the various formula functions. For additional information on the formula functions, you can view our formula primer online. Highlights is used to view, edit, or add highlights. A highlight colors a price charts bars to indicate a specific condition. New allows you to create a new highlight and assign the color to be used for that highlight. Edit allows you to edit the existing highlight. Delete allows you to delete an existing highlight. Check all checks all of the highlights. Uncheck all unchecks all of the highlights. You can also manually select the desired highlights by putting a checkbox in the desired box. The Symbols tab is used to view, create, or edit the symbols to be displayed on the chart when a certain criteria have been met. New allows you to create new symbols. The Name tab is where you specify the name of the symbol as well as enter the condition for that symbol within the Conditions box. The Graphics tab is where you can specify the placement of the symbols on the chart the color and size as well as assigning a label to the symbols. Edit allows you to change all of the properties associated within existing symbols. Delete allows you to delete the existing symbols. Check all checks all of the symbols. Uncheck all and checks all of the symbols. You can also manually select individual symbols you would like to view by checking the desired items. The Alerts tab is used to view, create, or edit alerts. When the defined conditions of the alert are met, a specified message will appear or an audible sound file or video will play. There is also the option to set up email or pager alerts. New allows you to create a new alert. The Name tab is where you specify the name of the alert as well as enter the condition for that alert within the Conditions box. The Alert tab allows you to specify the message given when an alert is triggered. Internal Notifications is where you specify the type of alert that will be displayed, a text box, play a video, or play sound. There is also an option to repeat the sound if you choose to assign a sound to your alert.